This lab is the solubility curve for carbon dioxide in water. In this lab, we're going to be working with carbonated water. So we just use a sample of club soda. This has carbon dioxide already dissolved in water. When carbon dioxide dissolves in water, it forms carbonic acid. Uh, the fact that it forms carbonic acid is going to allow us to measure the concentration of carbon dioxide that was in the water. And we're going to do that through a titration. So we're going to be titrating the acid with a base. It will be a neutralization reaction between the acid, carbonic acid, and the base, sodium hydroxide, uh, to produce water and a salt. Uh, during this neutralization reaction, we'll be able to measure the amount of sodium hydroxide required to reach the equivalence point and then we can calculate the number of moles of carbonic acid or carbon dioxide that were in the original sample of carbonated water. Uh, we're going to be doing this at three different temperatures. So I've already opened some of the club soda and I warmed one of them on a hot plate. I left one at room temperature and I put one on ice. So we have three different temperatures and we're going to check if the concentration of carbon dioxide in these samples uh, differs depending upon temperature. Uh, so we're going to start with the room temperature water. We're going to measure out a 50 milliliter sample. The temperature of this water is 19 degrees Celsius. So room temperature today is about 19 degrees Celsius. And we'll measure out a sample of the room temperature water, 50 milliliters. And we're going to put this in an Erlenmeyer flask. And then before we can do the titration, we need to add a little bit of an indicator. This is phenylphthalein, and phenylphthalein will allow us to see this neutralization reaction take place. Just a couple drops. Uh, nothing happens when you put it in with the acidic solution, so it's in carbonic acid right now, and it has no reaction with carbonic acid. But when it becomes basic, it will turn pink. So here is our burette. Our burette is filled with our standard sodium hydroxide solution. The sodium hydroxide solution has a known concentration. Uh, this is 0.2 molar sodium hydroxide. So it's important to know the molarity of the sodium hydroxide, and we'll know the volume of sodium hydroxide that's used, and then we can calculate the number of moles of carbonic acid. Uh, the starting volume in our burette is 3.6. So we have our burette filled to 3.6. Um, we can do the titration, and then we'll subtract to figure out how much was actually used. So we'll start the titration. We're starting at 3.6 milliliters. And then we'll slowly add the sodium hydroxide to the carbonated water and let the, the, let the neutralization reaction take place. You see, as I add the sodium hydroxide, the solution will turn slightly pink. And then as I stir it, the pink color will disappear. Uh, that means I haven't reached the equivalence point yet, and I need to add more sodium hydroxide. So I'll continue to titrate it. I want to get it to the point where it turns pink and stays pink, but I don't want to go way beyond that. So I want to go kind of slowly so that I just reach the equivalence point and don't go way beyond it. So it's starting to remain a little bit more pink. We'll give it a little bit more. And we may have reached the equivalence point. Let's stir this a little bit. Uh, it still turned clear pretty quickly, so let's add a little bit more sodium hydroxide. And there, we have a solution that's turned pink and it's remaining pink. And so it looks as though we've reached the equivalence point. And so the new volume on our burette is 12.1 milliliters. So you can take the difference between 3.6 where it started and 12.1 where we finished, and that will tell you how much sodium hydroxide was used during that first titration. That was the room temperature water. We're going to repeat this two more times. We're going to do it now with the cold solution. So this one's been kept on ice, and its current temperature is about 5 degrees Celsius. So 5 degrees Celsius will be our temperature for the cold water. Again, we'll measure out a 50 milliliter sample. So we have 50 milliliters of cold carbonated water. We'll do the same process. So we're pouring it into our Erlenmeyer flask. We'll add just a couple drops of phenylphthalein indicator. And then we can begin the titration. 
The purpose here is to see if the colder solution has more or less um, carbon dioxide dissolved in the water. We're trying to find the solubility and how the solubility of carbon dioxide in water is affected by temperature. So our starting volume on the burette was the same as our ending volume on the last trial. That was 12.1 milliliters. And we're going to do the same type of titration, adding the sodium hydroxide slowly and seeing how much it takes in order to reach the equivalence point when we have an equal number of moles of acid and base. So I can already see that this is taking more sodium hydroxide to reach the equivalence point. We're getting a little bit closer now. It's starting to stay pink a little bit longer. So we should probably start titrating a little bit more slowly. And we're almost there. We have some pretty good pink color. Let's give it a little bit more. A little bit more. And there, it seems as though we've reached the equivalence point. We have a nice pink solution showing that the carbonic acid has been completely neutralized with the, by the sodium hydroxide. Uh, this final reading on my burette right now is 28.3 milliliters. So you can take the difference between 12.1, where it started, and 28.3, where it ended, to find the total volume of sodium hydroxide that was needed for the titration. Remember the molarity of this sodium hydroxide is 0.2 molar. You'll need to do that. You'll need to use that when you're doing the calculations. Uh, we have one more titration to do. That's for the warm solution. Uh, this water is 36 degrees right now, so it's just warm. It's not hot. And we're going to measure out again a 50 milliliter sample. And with our 50 milliliter sample, we'll do the same process into the Erlenmeyer flask. Add a little bit of indicator, and then we're ready to begin the titration. The initial volume in our burette is 28.3, and now we're ready to start the titration. So we add the sodium hydroxide, this is our warmest solution. And it appears as though it's going to reach the equivalence point the quickest. So the one that reaches the equivalence point the fastest had the lowest concentration of carbon dioxide initially. A little bit more. And there it looks as though we have a pink solution. We've reached the equivalence point. The sodium hydroxide has completely neutralized the carbonic acid in our warm solution. The uh, final reading on our burette is 33.1 milliliters. So you take the difference between 28.3, the initial volume, and 31, sorry, 33.1 to find the final, uh, to, to find the amount of sodium hydroxide needed. That is the solubility of carbon dioxide lab, where we used club soda at three different temperatures measured the concentration of carbon dioxide in each one, and now you're ready to do the calculations and make a solubility curve.